under wraps. In moderate climates, tile roofs are the norm. The tiles are typically rounded and terracotta in color, characteristic of Mediterranean architecture, and made of clay or concrete. Today, concrete roofing tiles come in a wide array of colors and styles, from traditional to contemporary. While concrete roofing tiles can emulate wood or asphalt shingles, they have a far longer lifespan, more than 50 years. The tile making process begins with smooth sand from natural sand deposits combined with sharp jagged sand made from pulverized rock. The factory regrinds any concrete tiles that failed quality control and adds them to the mix as well. Technicians analyze the composition of the mix, measure the moisture, and assess the silt content. Too much silt will weaken the concrete. They measure silt by shaking the sand in a test tube. Heavier particles settle to the bottom, water at the top, and silt in between. The amount of silt must not exceed 10%. The sand mix runs through a vibrating screen which filters out large objects such as rocks and sticks. To make concrete, you mix sand with cement. The cement truck driver hooks up a hose to blow its contents into a huge silo. From the silo, the conveyor system meets out a specific amount of cement into the sand it's critical to get the ratio just right. Roof tiles come in a choice of colors. They tint the concrete a specific shade by pumping in natural iron oxide pigments and water. A cement screw mixes everything until it's evenly blended. The concrete is now ready to be molded into roof tiles. This machine sprays the aluminum molds with vegetable oil, which will make it easy to extract the finished tiles. The concrete drops into an extrusion machine, which squeezes it out in a continuous sheet onto the passing molds. Knives descend, cutting the sheet to tile lengths. This is what the process looks like in slow motion. Real-time production moves at a rate of 110 tiles per minute. The tiles now run past rollers that finish the edges nicely. Then an inkjet printer applies product information along with the date and time. The next stop is a giant oven. The factory meticulously controls the temperature and humidity inside so that the concrete dries and cures properly. The tiles come out of the oven, depending on their size, 5 to 24 hours later. An automated separator extracts each tile from its mold. The conveyor then sends the empty molds back to be refilled with wet concrete. Nozzles spray sealer onto the top of the tiles. This will force moisture and calcium to exit through the bottom, preventing discoloration on the tile surface. Workers do a final visual check, removing any tiles with cracks or other flaws. Automated equipment stacks and straps 36 to 39 tiles into a group called a sleeve. The factory subjects random samples to rigorous quality control testing for strength, permeability, even hail. To pass this test, the tile must be left unscathed by a 5 cm ice ball flying at 32 meters per second. This fire safety test ensures that heat or flames can't penetrate the tile. 
Roofs made of concrete tiles can even withstand winds of up to 240 kilometers per hour, making them ideal for regions prone to hurricanes. If you have any comments about the show, or if you'd like to suggest topics for future shows, drop us a line at www.howitismade.net.